Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and I've got a really tricky GCSE standard question here. It's a grade nine type question. Um, it's from the Edexcel iGCSE uh, Summer 2023 Paper 2H. It's question 23, so it's right towards the back end of the paper where you find the grade nine time questions. And um, I gave this to a few of my students and they found it really tricky. Um, and there's a little kind of hack that you need to know at the end as well, which you may not have been taught. So it's perfect for this series. So let's get into it. So it looks innocent enough because we've got a cuboid and we all know the volume of a cuboid. Um, so the volume of a cuboid is of course equal to uh, length times width times height. Um, so the volume of this cuboid um, will be the uh, length, which we'll call, uh, let's just call it this one. It doesn't actually really matter which one it is, but that will be our length. Multiplied by therefore the width will be this one. Um, which is x, and multiplied by therefore the height, uh, which is also x. Okay, so the volume is equal to 2 root 5 minus 3 multiplied by x squared. And we know what the volume is. We're given the volume. Uh, it's this. So I can say 13 plus 6 root 5 is equal to 2 root 5 minus 3 times x squared. Uh, and the question does say that we want to work out the value of x. So therefore, I'm going to want to divide through uh, to get 13 plus 6 root 5 over 2 root 5 minus 3. And that's equal to x squared. OK, right now you might get to this stage and think to yourself, well, how do you square root a third? That's a good question. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to um, rationalize the denominator. Uh, that was going to make things a bit easier. And because we've got this situation where we've got like um, a third divided by another third, we're going to want to use that technique to rationalize the denominator. So I can write that x squared is equal to 13 plus 6, uh, root 5, let me write this nice and clearly, um, all over. 2 root 5 minus 3, and then to rationalize the denominator, we multiply top and bottom by the denominator, but because we've got this um, one part third, one part rational number, i.e. the minus 3, uh, we have to multiply it by um, the third and the rational number, but we swap the sign in the middle, top and bottom. So that doesn't change the value because we're times in the, by the top by the same thing and the bottom by the same thing. Okay. So what is this going to give us? We've got quite a few bits uh, of calculations to do here. Um, so I'll do it step by step. So the 13 multiplied by the uh, 2 root 5 is going to be 26 root 5. And then we'll do the 13 multiplied by the 3, uh, which is 39. Um, and then we will do the uh, 6 root 5 times by the 2 root 5. So the two, the root five times the root five is five, and the two times six is twelve. So twelve times five is sixty. Um, and then the final one is this um, six root five times by three, which is eighteen root five. Okay, and then on the bottom, um, <clears throat> there is a shortcut to do this, but I'll just do it in full just so everyone's clear what I'm doing. So I'm going to multiply uh, 2 root 5 by 2 root 5. Again, root 5 times root 5 is 5. Times by 2 gives you, sorry, times by 2 and times by 2 gives you 20. Because it's 2 times 2 is 4 and root 5 times root 5 is 5. So 4 times 5, 20. Beautiful. Okay, then we're going to be doing uh, 2 root 5 multiplied by 3, which is going to give us our plus 6 root 5. And then the next term will be minus 6 root 5, because we're going to be doing minus 3 times 2 root 5. And then the final term will be minus 3 multiplied by 3, which is going to give us minus 9. <clears throat> okay, lovely. Right, let's tidy this up. So on the numerator, how many root 5s have we got? We've got 26 and we've got 18, so that is a total of 44. So 44 root 5, 
And in terms of the um, <clears throat> the rational numbers here, so 39 add 60 is 99. Uh, and that's all over. Um, what have we got here? Well, these two are going to cancel. And then we're going to have uh, 20 minus 9 is 11. Perfect. Uh, this can simplify because I can divide the top uh, both terms on the top by 11. So dividing through by 11 gives me 4 root 5. And it gives me plus 9. Okay, great. Let me grab some space. Okay, so this is where we're at. Where x squared is equal to this. And now we need to square root a third, um, which is tricky. But there's a little technique that we can do. And given that we know the form that x is going to take, because it tells us right here, I can say that, well, let's just assume x takes that form. Then I can say that I know that x is going to be a plus root b. But I don't have an expression for x at the moment. I've got an expression for x squared. So let's take what I know the answer is going to be and square it. And then I can compare it with my expression I have for x squared. Um, so when I square, it's going to look like this, a double bracket. And then when I multiply this out, um, I will get um, a times a is a squared. I will get um, a times root b, uh, which is a root b. And I will get a root b times a, um, which is another a root b. And then finally, I will get root b times root b, which is just b. OK, I can simplify that. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to write it like this. It's going to be two lots of a root b. I'm going to do that first. And then plus a squared plus b. OK, great. So now I can compare it to my expression that I have for x squared. So I can say that 2a root b plus a squared plus b is equal to 4 root 5 plus 9. Okay, now we're going to use this trick called comparing coefficients. Because if these two things are going to be equal, it means the rational numbers and will equal each other on both sides of the equation. And also the irrational, i.e. the third parts, will also equal each other on both sides of the equation. So let's look at the um, third parts on the left side. We have this. And the third parts on the right side. We have this. So these will equal one another. Um, so straight away, we can see that 2a is going to equal 4. And b is going to equal 5. That's the only way that these two yellow things are going to be exactly the same. Because the square, the third is root 5, so therefore b must be 5. And outside we're timesing by 4, so therefore a, uh, 2a must be 4, so therefore a must be 2. And then we could double check to make sure that works as well for the rational parts, i.e. the parts without a third in at all. We've got a squared plus b is equal to 9. Does that work? Well, if a is 2, then a squared uh, plus b... Well, a squared will be 2 squared, plus b we said is 5, so that does indeed equal 9. So it works for both, which is perfect. Okay, so final answer is x is equal to um, a is 2, plus root b uh, is root 5. Because, of course, we know that it's a plus root b. Okay, right, hope you enjoyed that, and um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.